I want you to have this. What is it? It's a souvenir from the World's Fair, Flushing Meadows, New York, 1964. I shouldn't take this. We might not be coming back. Keep it. I have another 300 at home. What coin was used in the end credit scenes? Well, it was this one. Not this specific one, but one very, very much like this. All right, so I found a lot of these souvenir coins from the World's Fair in Flushing Meadows, New York, 1964. I know how hard they have been to come by on eBay. We're gonna have these up on our Etsy store. Wanna show you what they look like when they've arrived and how I'm cleaning them up. They come in these vintage coin boxes. They smell, they smell like they've been sitting around in somebody's attic or basement. In your basement or attic? For, well, probably since like 1965, 66. Not sure on the packaging with these. I do know they come in these plastic covers. So the front of the coin looks amazing. The back of the coin is covered with um, this foam that basically has disintegrated over the years. So, I'll open one up and show you what that looks like. Most of these peel off pretty easily, but I'm still having to go through and clean the coins to fix the discoloration from that. So we're cleaning the foam off the coins and a little vinegar, baking soda, toothbrush, clean some of those off. We'll be selling these based on grade. Some of these are pretty bad, but they've cleaned off okay, and then some of these have cleaned up and they look fresh off the mint, basically. I know how hard these are to come by on eBay right now. We wanna make these available to the fan community. Um, I think we're gonna do a dollar from each sale to Children's Mercy Hospitals in Kansas City, just cause we like philanthropy. And once you wash them and have a finished product, top sides have looked good on all of them, but the back sides have cleaned up nicely. Now we do have three grades of these available. We're gonna have a low grade, which has permanent damage to the back of the coin, but has cleaned up. We have some mid grades that basically just have some black spots randomly on the coins that won't come off, and we'll have a high grade option available that basically looks great front and back. But any fan of Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters Afterlife, this is a must have in your collection. You'll be supporting a good cause by giving back to the local community here, the community abroad, which is what the Ghostbusters fans are all about in general. So please take a minute to follow the link below and buy one from us on Etsy.